Now, don't fall in between the crack, because if you do, you're... You're... Oh. The dwarfs are too big to fall between that crack anyways. <laughs> hey! How's it going, everyone? My name is Spy, and welcome back to the next episode of the Sky Base Community Project. Now, you're probably looking at this and you're saying, Wait! This isn't the Community Project. That's because this is a another build that I made a while ago on a steam stream thank you for everyone who joined and I was wondering if you guys would like me to start another small miniature community project for the side I was thinking maybe like a small city as I actually built this bus on that stream it's pretty awesome it has a little mustache it's kind of hilarious and I got this road right here built and a little bus stop that's all I have really built for this at the moment and the bus works completely you can go inside. It has one row of seats. It's a little small. Nothing too major. But we're going to pull up to this here. And close the doors. We're going to pull up. This is where you pick up your passengers and start your route. There's also some luggage boxes on the side here. Pretty cool. I haven't actually finished the bus completely yet. But I'll get to that. But if you guys would like to see another community project in the works, please let me know in the comments and we'll get started on that. Anyways, let's head right to the sky base now and start on this episode. So here we are back at the sky base. Now we're going to head up to the control room here where we left off last episode. We designed it a little bit, gave it some control panels and stuff like that. But if you look here, we have the secret room a little more hidden now. It doesn't look so obvious. Once this closes up, you'll see that this thing here turns into like a little uh, command chair thing. Looks pretty cool. And up there, someone suggested to me that the screen should be slanted. That looks really awesome. I like that. Anyways, this episode, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building multiple things this episode, including the secret room down there. And we're also going to be building a pool deck because there was a lot of people saying we should build a pool deck. So that is actually going to be up, um, where should it be? I think we're going to have the pool deck at the top of the balcony here. At least the entrance will be. Maybe we'll have it, um, huh. We can have it going that way or we can have maybe, I don't know. Maybe we can have it going downwards like this and then at the bottom there will be like a little pool deck. Yeah, I think that would look pretty good. Okay, so I think I'm going to start on the pool deck first. I think that will be the best thing to start on. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of clear out an area here for these stairs. I think it's going to go down maybe like a few blocks down, maybe level to that uh, window cell there. And we're just going to use these, I guess. This. And it doesn't matter if we fall here like we just did because <laughs> um, right here is our cannon thing anyways. So I guess that works. Okay, I think we should go right about there. And then here we will have the pool deck area. Maybe we should have some like sand and stuff there. Maybe artificial sand. I think that would look good. Now, the glass is going to be flush with the barrier block here. So the sand does not look crappy from underneath. So I think that would be good like that. And then we can just go across like this all the way again. Now, I apologize for the choppiness, guys. Uh, the sky base is starting to get pretty packed already, but I think I might just have to save the elevator for later if it gets too bad. Now I gotta get back up there, so I'm just gonna use a chair. That's the easiest method of um, deleting glass. There you go. Just gotta be careful. There you go. Now don't fall in between the crack, because if you do, you're... you're oh, the dwarfs are too big to fall between that crack anyways. <laughs> uh, okay, that's good to know at least. Okay, and then we're going to make the sand area. I think it's just going to be like a little tiny pool deck here. Nothing too major. Because it's not really a big sky base meant for a lot of people. More of a private military sky base. Okay, I think that's good. And then we're going to use, I guess, the concrete for the sand. Concrete's good for a lot of things. Okay, there we go. And we're just going to color this a sand color. That's nice. I like that. That looks very sandy. Kind of. Kind of looks more like hay, but I think that's the only thing we really have. What about this? I think that looks more like sand. Huh. What do you guys think? Which color is better? I'm going to stick with this yellow here. We can always change it later, though. Okay. 
I think that looks all right. And then on the other side here, we're just going to have a pool. Because we don't want it going on the ledge here. That would look pretty uh, bad, in my opinion. Okay, now we got to be careful. Don't fall. Because I don't want to have to um, climb all the way back up with toilets again. <laughs> or I can wait for the elevator to um, slowly drop down. Which takes probably like half an hour. Something like that. Okay, I think that is good. Just be very careful. Make sure not to fall. This reminds me of those construction buildings where, um, in the olden days, people would stand on the metal eye beams like this. Oh, that w that's just terrifying. I wouldn't be able to do that. I'm kind of scared of heights, but not not if it's like maybe 50 feet up in there. It's like a thousand feet, two thousand feet up in there. That's scary. Okay, we'll have it this high. It's just gonna be like a little waiting pool. Maybe we're gonna have uh, a deep end. Because there's no actual water in the game yet, so we're gonna have to use glass blocks for now. Okay, there we go. There's our waterless pool. It looks pretty nice. Nothing too major. A dwarf could probably um, drown in it if you really happen to. <laughs> so um, we're gonna add some glass blocks to simulate water for now. Hopefully they do add water in the future. And I think I'm actually gonna add glass blocks to the bottom to give it a nice design. Let's check that out and see how it looks. Um, I think we're only going to have it on the deep end here. How's that look? It looks a little weird, but at least the pattern is the same. If you guys have any suggestions for that, please let me know. Uh, now we're just going to add the water. There we go. Now we, we're not really swimming. Just pretend it is frozen due to the altitude wrap. Because uh, it's usually really cold the higher you get. <laughs> Until they add actual water, that is. Now we're just going to color it up. Uh, Blue color? I'm not sure. That looks a little weird. Let's just use uh, this color here. There you go. There's our pool, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so here we go guys. Here's the pool deck. It looks pretty sweet so far. We have the pool. We got some rubber dinghies and a duck in the pool. And over here we have a a beach umbrella, a wash up area, and we have a little beach towel or a beach chair. So I got the inspiration from this beach chair for one of my followers. His name is Doge Lord. You've probably seen his uh, modern house submission video on my channel. If you haven't, go check it out. It's pretty sweet. Anyways, that's pretty much it for the beach here. If you guys have any suggestions for it, please let me know. There's no railings yet, but you just got to be careful around the edge. It reminds me of one of those modern poolside things where they're on the edge of the houses like that. Uh, it looks pretty cool. A little scary though. If you guys have any of your own submissions you want to send to me, send them to the email address on the screen and hopefully we will check them out. And hopefully we'll get them in a video. Anyways, we're going to go to the next project for this video and that is going to be the secret room now. I think we're going to have a secret elevator that pops up from... The secret compartment here we're gonna press the button now the button here is not permanent like i said last video we're gonna move it okay there we go there's the room it's not very hidden if you go up to the control room but we're gonna kind of make like a little balcony up there as well for visitors to kind of walk on and maybe uh, hang out up there a second little balcony area so we're just gonna add like a little elevator now i'm not sure how i'm gonna do that Okay, so we got the elevator for the secret entrance working. The secret entrance is closed now. And I also hid the secret entrance button. Now, I'm just gonna turn the radio on, listen to some music, maybe jam out. This music isn't really jamming out uh, kind of music. Anyways, the button is behind the radio right here. This is gonna open up and it's gonna give us access to the secret elevator. Now this elevator will take us down to the floor that we need. Now I haven't completed these rooms yet. It's very bland. This might be the bug out room back here. And the room over here might be like a little research room or something. Hmm. Anyways, let's build the bug out room. This is going to be the bug out room. Where people go to stay safe. I think this is also going to be a little secret room as well. So we got the little tiny bug out room built. It's pretty hidden. If you close it like this, it'd be locked inside the room to hide if there's any invaders. They're very cozy in here. Got little storage boxes for safety. There might be supplies or something in there. Not in uh, this case though, because uh, maybe in survival though. 
But anyways, if you close it up from the outside, it'll look very hidden. It just looks like a dead end there. We're going to go back up. And there's a secret button that actually opens that back up. It's on one of these control panels. I think it's the far one there. That one opens it back up. As you can see. There you go. And then down here, I think we're going to have like a little research lab. Maybe for uh, secret experiments or something like that. I'm not quite sure. So here we are with the little research lab. Looks pretty nice. We got these little ducks here. We got this little goop or whatever this is. I'm not sure what that is really. It looks gross though. And then up here we have a little screen. Over here we got the little chemist station. We got some nice little pipes and boxes. And we got a fuse box and sinks. Looks pretty nice. Not sure what else I can add to this. Maybe um, you guys can come up with something. But anyways, we're going to head back up. I'm not sure what else I could really add to the sky base. There is a lot of possibilities what I can add, but... Um, I'm not sure what more we can add before it starts lagging even more. But if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. But that's just about it for this episode, guys. So, thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any more suggestions, like I said, please let me know in the comments and hopefully we can get to them. If you guys have any feedback for the Mini City uh, Community Project, please let me know in the comments as well. It'd be cool to start a new one before this one um, finishes. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. And subscribing. And remember, stay sweet. Bye. Killing arms actually burned me pretty. Oh god. <laughs> I can't go anywhere. <laughs> no. Get out of here. <laughs> no. <laughs>